What's up Versus community? I am back with another Versus System 2 PCG video. Today I want to talk about a killer combo that I saw happening at Gen Con this year. It allows you to do a win on turn two. Uh, I noticed it when I looked at Ryan Zamran's top eight deck list and I noticed that there were only two supporting characters in the whole deck, Pixie and Maximus and I had to know just how he planned to win like this and how he actually did win win with these two cards. Like I said, this is a turn two win. Playing this way, I feel like if you're on the other side of it, feels bad because when you wanna play this game, then you wanna play the game. But I do appreciate the elegance of this combo, and so I wanted to walk you through how it works so you can uh, attempt to betray your friends with it. Max Jansen discovered this combo and shared it with us in the Facebook group, but I don't think it saw competitive play until Gen Con this year. At least no one was talking about it until this year. And Ryan Zamran and a few others ended up playing it. And Ryan was the one who top aided and he used uh, Star-Lord as his main character, so that's what I'm gonna do here in this example. Technically, it could be any main character. Star-Lord just has the advantage of searching for cards, and uh, that's something you wanna do with this combo because it actually isn't the easiest thing to pull off, but once you are in a position to pull it off, then your opponent literally has nothing they can do about it. So we're gonna be using Star-Lord here, but it's not gonna make that much of a difference. And then our hand is gonna look something like this. Now again, the chances of you getting this in your opening hand are pretty slim, but we're gonna streamline this for the sake of the combination. So Pixie's the mulligan condition. She has the power, hallucinogenic dust. Reveal cards from the top of your deck until you reveal a character that is not already on your side. Put that character onto your side and shuffle the rest of the revealed cards into your deck. At the end of your turn, KO that character. And that's really where this all hinges, is on Pixie's use of hallucinogenic dust. On your first turn, you're not gonna do anything. Well, you're gonna put down a resource. So currently in my hand, I have two Pixies, so I only need one. I'm going to take the other one, I'm gonna flip her over face as a face down resource. When it's your opponent's turn, they can do pretty much whatever they want to you. They might stun Star-Lord, Either way, it, it really doesn't matter what your opponent does, because on your next turn, then you are going to have your hand, and you're going to put down a laboratory as your resource. And then, since Pixie is a two-cost character, you can bring her out, and since her hallucinogenic dust is uh, requires a laboratory, an energy symbol, then you can use that right away. So we'll put her out, we will take our laboratory, and we will flip it upside down to use her power. So again it says, reveal cards from the top of your deck until you reveal a character that is not already on your side. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you recall when I said in the intro that this deck actually only has two characters in it. There's Pixie, who you want to draw first and then there's Maximus. So you reveal until the, there is a character that is not already on your side. So there's a laboratory, there's a laboratory, there's another laboratory, there's Pixie, but she's already on her side, so we're not gonna use her, we're gonna skip past. There's another Pixie, there's new Adeline, and oh, lo and behold, it's the only other supporting character in this deck. So you're guaranteeing that you're gonna get Maximus out when you use Pixie, if these are the only two characters in your deck. So then you shuffle, the, shuffle your deck, you bring out Maximus. Now he has a power, usurp the throne. Remember, he's gonna get KO'd at the end of your turn, so you have to do this when you bring Maximus out. So put that character onto your side and shuffle the rest of the revealed cards into your deck. At the end of the turn, KO that character. So Maximus is gonna get KO'd unless he does something, something drastic. Well, he's going to. He has usurp the throne for four intellect, Move Maximus next to an enemy main character and KO it. If you do, Maximus becomes a main character on that side, loses this power, and heals all of his wounds. So, in our hand, we have four academies, which are the four symbols that we need 
to usurp the throne. So we can just discard those to use them all. Maximus goes over to your opponent's side and he becomes their main character. You KO their main character, he becomes the new main character. Then, finishing up with Pixie, at the end of the turn, KO that character. So you just moved him, you just KO'd your opponent's main character, he became their main character, and now Pixie KOs Maximus at the end of the turn, and you've just won the game. And there's literally nothing that your opponent can do to stop that. So there you have it, two cards that will get you a win on turn two with your opponent having very little to say about it, very little interaction. Like I said, it, it kind of feels bad when you're on the other side of it, but I know it's fun to look for these sort of killer combos that will take the game in a direction that nobody was expecting, and I think this is a really good way to do that. So I hope you like that. Be sure to subscribe, and I will try to keep making more Versus System content. See you next time.